Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be discussing the rigid motion study guide. The first transformation we have is a reflection. Anytime you see a reflection, it's a flip. Remember, it changes the orientation, which means the order of the letters. So the first thing I'm going to do for the first diagram is to line up my letters. So I have rectangle A, B, C, D, and then I have rectangle K, L, M, N. So, um, A and K correspond to each other, B and L, C and M, D and N. So, I'm just going to look at A and K. Notice that they're one unit away from the x-axis. So, this looks like a reflection in the x-axis. So, remember, little r, subscript of x-axis. I can verify that by looking at another. So, let's look at B and L. So B is one, two, three, four, five units away from the x-axis, and L is one, two, three, four, five units away. Remember, it's the same distance. So we have a reflection in the y-axis. Let's look at the second one. I have triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Line up the letters. A corresponds to D, B corresponds to E, C corresponds to F. So notice that I definitely have a reflection because let's look at the orientation. I have ABC, which is going in a clockwise position, and I have DEF, which is going in a counterclockwise position. Again, this is a reflection in the x-axis. So remember, reflection is a flip, and it changes the orientation, little r, and then write whatever it's being reflected in. The next one we have is a translation. We associate that with a slide. So let's line up our letters. We have P, Q, R, S, and T, U, V, W. So let's pick, let's see, P, that corresponds to T. So let's see how many units we're going to the right. One, two, three, four units to the right. And how many units down? One, two, three, four down. Remember, translation is a capital T, X comma Y. So this is going to be capital T, four units to the right, and negative four units down. Remember, you can also write it out. Translation of four units right and four units down. Remember, a translation is represented by a capital T. Next, we have a rotation. A rotation is a turn. Remember, with a rotation, you have to be specific and say if it's a rotation of 90 degrees, 180, 270, if it's clockwise or counterclockwise, and you have to remember to also state the center of rotation. Now, let's remember that if we start off with x comma y and we want to rotate it 90 degrees, it becomes negative y comma x. If we rotate 180 degrees, it becomes negative x, negative y. And if we rotate it 270, it becomes y, negative x. So let's line up our letters here. We have ABC, triangle ABC, and we have triangle DE. Let's look at A. So the coordinate of A is negative 4, 1, and the coordinate of D, which it corresponds to, is negative 1, negative 4. So here, notice that we are rotating it 90 degrees counterclockwise. Next, let's look at dilation. 
remember a dilation is an enlargement or a reduction. It's either getting bigger or smaller. The scale factor k is what we're multiplying each coordinate by. Don't forget, there's also a center of dilation. So if we start out with the coordinate x comma y, we multiply by the scale factor to each individual coordinate. So notice here, my pre-image a, b, c, d, and my image a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime. It's getting smaller. So if I look at a, which is negative 2 comma 4, and a prime, which is negative 1 comma 2, I have a dilation of 1 half. It's getting smaller. Don't forget to line up your letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and those are the corresponding points. A sequence of transformation is more than one transformation. Notice in this diagram we have a reflection in the x-axis, then a rotation of 90 degrees centered at the origin. Always be specific. Next, a rigid motion preserves distance and angle measure. A reflection, a translation, and a rotation are rigid motions, but a dilation is not because the side lengths change. It either gets bigger or smaller. And lastly, we have the construction of a perpendicular bisector of a point and its image. So here we have a line of reflection, and remember, with the line of reflection, it's the same distance from a point to the line of reflection and the corresponding point to the line of reflection.